hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, today we are going to discuss that how to make equivalent fractions so first of all uh, we recall that what are equivalent fractions so we have an example here as you can see that we have first fraction is equal to 1 over 2 which is equal to 2 over 4 and equal to 3 over 6 and equal to 4 over 8 so what are equivalent fractions the fractions that have different numerator and the denominator but equal a portion of whole what it's mean it means that as you can see that we have a fraction and we have uh, represented it in a circle form so 1 over 2 means that we have two parts of circle and we have taken out we have filled out one part of circle it means that 1 over 2 so one part total of 2 is colored in the next we can see that we have four equal parts but we have colored here two parts total two parts out of four are colored and in the next we have a total six part and we have colored three part out of six and in the next we have total eight parts and we have colored four parts of out of eight so you can see that in all diagrams in all four diagrams numerator are different denominator are different but colored part is same as you can see that here we have half circle here also we have half circle here also we have half circle 3 out of 6 here also we have half circle 4 of 8 so it means that uh, numerator and denominator can be different but uh, main thing main fraction main portion is equal as you can see here in picture so next question is that how to make equivalent fraction first of all you have to write the given fraction you have a question Maybe you have a question that write the equivalent fractions of 1 over 2. So first of all, you have to write the given fraction that is 1 over 2. Simply you have to write equal sign. And then you have to write the same uh, fraction that is given 1 over 2. And then you have to multiply uh, both numbers, numerator and denominator with the uh, second natural number that is 2. So you have to multiply first of all 1 with 2 and 2 also with 2. So you will get uh, 1 times 2 that is 2 and 2 times 2 that is 4 so this is our first equivalent fraction of 1 over 2 and then we have to write again 1 over 2 and then uh, we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator with the next natural number that is 3 so first of all you have multiplied with 2 now you will multiply with 3 in the numerator and in the denominator similarly you can uh, get next equivalent fraction by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 4 so you can get more and more numbers uh, more fractions like that so you have to simply multiply next natural number in every step so we have multiply 5 in the next step so we will get 5 so you can see that 1 times 3 that is 3 and 2 times 3 that is a 6 so now 1 times 4 is 4 and 2 times 4 that is 8 1 times 5 that is 5 and 2 times 5 is 10 so you can see that we have uh, these are equivalent fractions because these have different numerator and denominator but we have equal portion of uh, whole part as you can see here in the example. I hope so you got the basic idea that what are equivalent fraction and how to make how to write equivalent fraction of given fraction. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.